In this video, I demonstrate our setup of 100 gigabit per second dual polarization QPSK transmitted over 6,400 km of a standard single mode fiber with using recirculating loop technique. A recirculating loop is an instrument in the optical laboratories for simulating and analyzing long distance optical transmission systems without actually using many spans of fiber and a large number of optical amplifier. It uses a controlled optical switch which allows the optical signal from a transmitter to pass through an optical system many times. This is our general setup for this technique. It consists of signal generator, laser, IQ modulator, three amplifiers, and after each, there is one band pass filter and attenuator. We have two spans of 80 km fiber, that is totally 160 km fiber, two optical switch, coherent receiver, and real-time oscilloscope. Here is the transmitter part of our setup in the optical laboratory. The CW signal injected to the IQ modulator. IQ modulator modulated by 25 gigabyte of signal generator. Now we have 50 gigabit per second QPSK. After that, with adding one 1 to 2 coupler for dividing the signal and putting one delay line for one of this signal and then combine them with polarization beam combiner, it's possible for us to have two polarization. No, we have 100 gigabit per second dual polarization QPSK. Before sending signal to the loop, we must amplify it with EDFA and then apply a bandpass filter in order to remove unwanted noises. In this setup, we apply two optical switch in which the timing management of them are very important. We can manage them by the pulse generator. But first we need to define round trip time. The round trip time is the time that the optical signal takes to travel through the fiber spans within the loop. Basically, we have three fundamental operation states. Loading state, looping state, and trigger state. In loading state, two switches are held in loading conditions for at least one round trip time to completely fill up the loop with the optical signal. Looping state may start when the loop is fully loaded with the optical signal. Then, the optical signal is allowed to circulate in the loop for a specific number of revolutions. Duration of a looping state can be estimated by number of loop times by the round trip time. In trigger state that can be after each loop, signals are delivered to the real-time oscilloscope. We use two power meters in order to adjust the entrance power of each span of fiber. And after each span, we need EDFA to compensate loss of each span. After recirculating loop and at the receiver side, the signal is coherently detected with the ECL local oscillator. For 100 gigabit per second dual polarization QPSK modulation, all the four outputs of IX, QX, and IY and QAY from the coherent receiver are connected to the real-time oscilloscope. The electrical signals after balanced photodetectors were converted to a digital form using a 50 giga sample real-time oscilloscope with analog bandwidth around 20 gigahertz. After the coherent receiver signal is processed offline with using the DSP software. The role of DSP in the optical coherent receiver analyzer is to reconstruct the transmitted signal from the received signal. And finally, with this setup, we could transmit 100 gigabit per second dual polarization QPSK signal over 6,400 km fiber by keeping BER below the forward error correction threshold of 3.8 times 10 power minus 3.